Oh, buddy, life comes at you fast, doesn't it? Yesterday, we were talking about how down goes KK Karen, and it looks like down goes KK Karen as well. Here's the thing. When you violate the Second Amendment, that's what happens. I told you guys this would happen. The first day this shit went viral, they violated the Second Amendment. They violated the First Amendment rights of the protesters. They violated Missouri state law. They violated local law. They violated the rules of their homeowners association. Apparently, by the way, we're going to be doing this in another video. They are horrible neighbors. Go figure. What a surprise that somebody who comes out there violating the Second Amendment, violating someone else's First Amendment rights, Missouri state law, every single weapon safety rule in the book, local law, and the homeowners association's rules would be a poor neighbor, would be a poor example of how to act. Guys, <laughs> never point your weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. Treat every weapon as if it were loaded. Keep your finger straight and off the trigger until you intend to shoot and keep your weapon on safe until you intend to shoot. Verify what's behind your target if you're in a civilian situation, obviously. That's what we're talking about. That's where they, they didn't follow any of those rules. None, zero, zilch, nada, okay? Epic fail, massive disaster. Absolute dumpster fire, a train wreck. That's what we're dealing with here, these clowns. Now, like I said, uh, yesterday we were talking about how a warrant was served and they went and took the AR-15 that KK Ken had. Well, apparently the lawyer for these two, one of the lawyers for these two clowns decided to get the handgun and turn that in. You want to know the sweetest thing about that? It didn't work. It was inoperable. Oh my God. <laughs> Is there any other way these folks can fail? The mustard stains all over everything, just the freaking disaster that they were in general, frantic, frenetic, had absolutely no clue what was going on. You know, maybe ask somebody instead of coming out there, guns a about to freaking be guns a blazing. Attorney for Central West End couple who pulled guns on protesters, hands over handguns shown in viral photos to police. Watkins said the gun Patricia McCloskey was shown holding was not operable. I don't know if I actually believe that that's for certain. Maybe they could have. There are things you can do after the fact. Let's just leave it at that. And the inoperable nature of the weapon significantly preceded the date of the incident. <laughs> the viral incident or the incident itself? Oh. <laughs> the second weapon associated with the Central West End couple who pulled guns on protesters on June 28th. Boy, life comes at you fast was handed over on Saturday afternoon. Attorney Al Watkins handed over the handgun to police outside his office in Clayton. Uh, Karen McCloskey was pictured pulling that. <laughs> I added the carrot part, okay? I added the carrot part. Was pictured pulling that handgun on protesters during June 28th incident. Hey, hey, Karen McCloskey. Police executed a search warrant at the McCloskey home on Friday and took the rifle... K.K. Ken McCloskey was seen holding in the photos. <laughs> Watkins said that he was no longer the counsel of record for McCloskey's with the circuit attorney's office. In the <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder. Imagine sitting in a room with these dim bulbs for fucking two seconds. You know, we've got some problems here. Your elevator is not going to the top floor. You're not the brightest bulb on the tree. You're not the sharpest knife, knife in the drawer. You are not the most operable tool in the tool shed. Although you are a tool shed yourself, perhaps. Oh my God. <laughs> in that the criminal defense work would now be led by Joel Schwartz. I wonder how long you're going to laugh, Shifty Schwartz, if any charges were brought. He too is accustomed to cameras making national news with an overturned murder case. Russell Faria was once sentenced to life for his wife's murder. Schwartz retired his case and Faria was uh, was acquitted. Retried his case, excuse me. Wow, fantastic job. So they got a they got a better lawyer. They got a better lawyer. Hey. Sometimes, let's keep it real. If you're one one of these individuals who makes a complete fool out of yourself on the international stage, you probably should have a pretty good lawyer. Um, you should have somebody who's dealt with this sort of stuff before, who's been in the public, like like a Tom Mesero. That guy is He's like bulletproof when it comes to dealing with the media. I'm serious. Check it out. Watkins said his role as counsel was compromised as he had become a potential witness in the case for keeping the handgun and handing it over to police. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. 
I would say that, you know what I mean? Anything to get out of that situation. It was my duty and obligation to make sure the evidence was preserved to maintain the integrity of the defense of Mr. and or Mrs. McCloskey in the event. In in the what I believe the high, highly unlikely event of any charges being brought. As for why he only kept the handgun in his possessions, Watkins had this to say. The rifle is not one I was concerned about because the rifle was not flourished and not held in a fashion inconsistent with... <laughs> he was holding it like Rambo, you moron. With what Mr. McCloskey lawfully could have done in the produce department at any schnucks. No. If he was in any store with a gun like that, somebody would take his ass out. The gun, which was not operable and was being handled by K.K. Karen McCloskey, I added that, <laughs> was clearly being handled in a fashion inconsistent with anyone with any sort of gun or weapons training. <laughs> so the importance of having the integrity of the inoperable nature of this weapon was important, given the elements of any potential crimes which may in your wildest imagination arise out of the situation which occurred on June 28th in in front of the front yard of the McCloskeys in Portland Place. Watkins said the gun, KK Karen McCloskey, I added that, was shown holding was not operable. And the inoperable nature of the weapon significantly preceded the date of the incident on June 28th. He also said KK Karen McCloskey knew the gun was not operable. Cool story, bro. Tell it again. It's unclear if the rifle was in a, <laughs> you know, if you walked up to somebody, somebody you had a dispute with, and had an inoperable gun, you held that motherfucker to their head, and you made them sign a goddamn contract. You made them sign a contract, you made them do something against their will. Under duress, you would still get charged. They didn't give a fuck if the firing pin was removed, you moron. It's under duress. That's why you, that's why you violated the Second Amendment, and that's why you violated the First Amendment. You cannot use the Second Amendment to menace. You can't use it. It's, it's not part of the Second Amendment. It is not protected under the Second Amendment. Okay? And if you're menacing somebody with the Second Amendment who is protesting, that's violating their First Amendment rights. I mean, this is America. You see that shit right there? That shit right there? We, ha we actually have something behind that. It's called the Constitution. It's called the Bill of Rights, and it still matters to guys like me. It is unclear if the rifle was inoperable or not. Five on your side is not aware of any charges against the McCloskeys at this time, and the warrant served Friday evening was just for the guns. Schwartz told Five on your side Friday night he does not believe the charges are warranted against the McCloskeys and that he hopes to meet with St. Louis Circuit Attorney with the with with the St. Louis Circuit Attorney's office next week, but that there was there is no official appointment at this time. Well, I'm, I'm sure there will be pretty soon. I would say the McCloskeys are in good hands with Mr. Schwartz. Pro probably a good statement. You can't make generalizations because the two of them did different things with different guns. Blah, 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 fucking blah. I'm going to leave it. Oh, my God. Look at that picture. I might use that picture. Um, guys, they've been a disaster from start to finish. The entire world is making fun of them. That's what's going on here. You know, you know the deal. You know it's true. Don't be a Momo. Don't be a Jagoff. Don't be a Cream Puff. Don't be a Cupcake. Don't cry about it. Don't whine about it. I don't want to hear it. They did the wrong thing every step of the way. Folks, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.